So video part three, all the tools you need when you press a book. So I'm gonna show you guys. So right here we have my own tacking iron. Here's the box. Just in case you ever decide you wanna get one of those. But I, I decided to use this one, Steam Fast. I got this one in, in um, Walmart, all right, for like $30. This one came with my presser. When I brought my presser for a thousand, I went to New York and picked it up from a retired photographer. All right. So here's the steam fast. All right. I use this one. So when I want to do some work in the pages that I can get out with my presser, and you fill it out with water here. All right. You fill it up, and there you go. That's what I use. My steam fast. All right. Really good. I have to show you guys the process how you use that because it's totally different you, you know you still let's say we're working with that you want to use well before we show more of that well yeah we can show that now so let's say you want to work with this all right so you want to open your your thing all right your book and you want to put a page right here with a cardboard underneath let me show you guys right now that's how you do it okay right here you see how I did that it has a a magazine sideboard then you put the cookie sheet right there then you close it then you steam the page first you steam the page all right you steam it it's gonna come from there you see those little holes you steam it for a couple of seconds, so I say well, about five seconds. Then you let the page absorb, absorb it. You know what I mean? Then you put another. Then you put another cookie sheet, a silicone sheet. Then you, you go one, two, three. You never go. You never do this, okay? Because then you you mess up the page. You go slow strokes, one all the way up, then you lift it up, then you go down, then you press again, two, then you lift up, you take it out. That's the way you do it, all right? So I'll make a video follow up on that when I do something like that, a video about it. And there we go. Then you're using a sector knife when you have to cut the size of the staples. For example, right here. You see how I cut those? And use this to cut, all right? You start to cut. Let me move this out of here. All right. And use an exacto knife when you want to cut these. Okay. Then you use an eraser if you want to go in here, the white areas. You want to go like this. All right. You can use that kind. This is just to pick up. I use it like a tacky thing to pick up whatever, so nothing was thick like that. Or you can use one of these. All right. So if you want, but you have to be gentle. With this one, you have to go like that and up. Press down and up. You can't be going sh -sh 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 like that. This one, this one, you can get away with it a little. But you want, if you want to be really, really, you want to just go like, you just want to go like this. All right. You see. Well, you can go like that, but just go. Same way like you do with the iron to be more professional, all right? And there you go. And you just dust it off, all right? So that's some of the tools. So remember, the steam here is steam fast. I got that in Walmart. This came with my presser. And those are the tools right there. Put these back in here. And I just wanted to show you that. So I'm gonna set up now to do the front cover of these, all right? Since I did the inside already. Now keep in mind, these books are real thick. It's like a hundred pages. You see, it's like a hundred pages in there. It's not no 30 something, so you have to do the inside since you saw all those creases before. But this one I have to do. This one I haven't done anything, so I have like 20 of these books I have to do. Here's another one I have to do. I got this in a dollar bin, a Hot Wheel one. So I'm gonna learn how to remove the stains. I've seen videos, people, how they remove stain. 
since I work with water mesh management, I have some of the chemicals. I have the alum. That's another one that you have to mix up. And then you, I have to show you that. I've been, I'm learning how I do that. So that'll be my first time. I'm gonna probably use this Hot Wheel one to do it. Or probably another one, because I know this one is pretty a good item to keep. So I'll probably practice with another one before I use this one. So let's keep moving on. Okay, here's my second attempt on this book. Well, my second time just for the cover. Remember before I had it, when I did it the first time because the inside of the pages were all wrinkly, I had it this way, all right? It was to take all those wrinkles out on the page because this book has more than 100 pages. So now this is my second attempt to do the front cover, all right? Now we're gonna focus on the front cover. So I'm doing two. Here's my humidity chamber, okay? Got that, and I removed all the water that was in there, the cold water that I used, because I took off for Christmas and I wasn't gonna do anything. So now I got the water up there boiling, we're gonna get that. So here's the water is boiling, getting all nice, and it's already been past five minutes, but here's another tool I used to use. Here's a flashlight. This is the one that my kids took and they broke it, where you can adjust it that I use. So I brought another one, but I'm not sure where it is. They took it away from me. So my daughter, she always uses them. And you see, it goes like this. It's adjustable, but you can stick it to metal and it moves around. But she, she took it, she used this one. She, now I have to find my other one, what it is. So there's a good two as well. So let me go ahead and get this ready down there. Okay, so before I put my water, my, my water in here, when you do it the first time and the water is still hot, you keep it in the warm, then you put the next one, all right? But if your water gets cold, okay, you get one of these little trash cans and you put all your cold water there, then you start over. Then you throw that out either outside or in your toilet or in your sink, whatever you want to throw your water out. But there we go, all right? So now I'm gonna fill this up with my hot water. I just wanted to let you people know since I'm in the and my man cave, this is my man cave, where I do all my exercise and everything, all right? This is my man cave, all right? Where I watch TV and everything. Over here is where I keep my, my old VHS. I had them in my garage, but these are the Betamax. I got some of the other ones, but since I saw CGC, they're grinning these, I'm gonna go through it. And, well, let me show you some of these. Okay, these are my Disney ones. The old ones were my wife, but my wife wanted to sell them, but I said, nah, I want to look through it and probably send them to see you see and get them great. I know they're open and everything, but these are the black diamond ones, all right? So over here, I got my old Betamax, my Betamax VHS, bro. but like you can see, this is my old one from Star Wars. Real beautiful condition. Here's my Power the Duck one. Old ones. I just like them, and it's something for me for my own personal collection. But Betamax is like one of the first ones. Here's a time machine. You see, here's the Betamax, a smaller one. See VHS. This is the ones I used to have. There's that one. What else we have in here? Uh, another, the Whistle of Oz. The old one. You see. What's another one here we got? Oh, Beastmaster. Remember that videotape? There you go. So I'm going to have CGC do those, but that's just a couple of them to show you what I got. Let me see what else we have in here. Let me show you guys. Peter Pan. Let me see what else. Oh, we got the Superman ones, one and two. I got them all, one, two, and three. As you can see, one, two, and three, or three of them in there. Betamax, the Labyrinth, Betamax. Which one is this one? It's in Alex in Wonderland, Betamax. Those are the ones I used to get, the first ones. And that's it. So let me show you. There's my old VCR. 
This is for the, my Beta Max One went bad. I, I can't find one that works on, on the internet. <laughs> I wish I can make them again. You know, they should make VHS for collectors who likes to watch new movies like this. Okay, I like I like the VHS ones because, or the DVDs. I have a lot of DVDs, but I'd rather have the VHS ones. Like the DVDs, well, not much. I like these because Edison, you know, when you watch the, the TV now, it freezes because of the internet. It's not, I don't like that. I don't like having it stop. You know what I mean? I like to experience the whole movie without interruptions. All right. So I wish if, if they sell movies, I would buy those. You know what I mean? Just to watch them. You know? But I like the Betamax. The VHS came later. I hope you guys understand that, what happened. You know why VHS won the battle with Betamax? Because the people who do porn, pornography, they chose VHS. If they would have chose Betamax, Betamax would have been. <laughs> that's, that's what happened, the story behind that. So here's my DVD player. So DVD as well, it's good. You know what I mean? You can watch it without interruptions. But I always love the experience going to Blockbusters, to your corner and order them. I like that being with the community, having fun with people, learning from people. You know what I mean? But, you know, interacting with people. Uh, now that's all is being taken away from us. Again, um, you know, Halloween. I love Halloween. It's my favorite season where I get to see everybody. We all get to see each other and everything. Christmas, I get to see my family. And I get to see, talk to them, eat food and everything. But my favorite one is Halloween because I see my family. I see everybody in the community. You know, the children comes over, get candy. And I like that. I like that, that unity. Christmas, okay, it's with your friends and families. You know, you go and visit them and all that stuff. But it's just a little time when, when Halloween is just three or four hours. is just handing candy, meeting people, talking, and, you know. So, okay, let me go and get the water and put everything in. So, my first book is in. So, I got it ready to go. I'm not going to let the steam or escape like I did in my first video. That I escaped and everything. I did it real fast. So, now I'm going to do the second one. So here it is. I got my first one in and here's my second one. Like I said, with this chamber, you have to put your towel inside like this. Stuck it inside in the, in the back and the front. You don't want the heat escaping, all right? That's why I recommend using this one. You don't have to do that. You just put a weight and it, it will, you know what I mean, seal it itself. This one, you can't do that, you see? So right here is sealed, but now over right here is a gap that I can breathe. So you wanna you wanna get this one. Let me show you through the other side what model is this one. So that's the one right there. That's the tub you wanna get. And remember, look in the bottom. Make sure it's not lifted or nothing. You wanna get the one that's the you wanna get the one that's the flattest. All right, when you build one of these chambers, all right? You want to get the bottom that's the flattest and no ripples, no designs, no nothing, all right? So that's what you want to do because you want the flattest bottom, all right? You want to look one like that. And you want to make sure you have the clamps, all right? That seals itself real good, all right? And that's it. This one doesn't do that, okay? So this one, I don't see the, I'm not sure where the label is on this one. This one, well, here's the label over here. Let me show you the label. Here's the label for this one. You know when I get that one. All right. But if you do, you have to do all this other stuff. You have to, you know what I mean? You have to remember to do that, all right? So, all right, so. I'll see you guys in an hour. I mean, two hours. I, I, I'm doing this one for two hours because the page are real thick. It's not as usually. Let me go and show you. Okay, this page here is real thick. All right, real thick. It's not like a normal page that, you know what I mean? You have to let it real thick, glossy. All right, so I'm gonna do it for two hours. There's some people 
the leave it in the humid humidity chamber for overnight. You don't want to leave it overnight because I noticed that these, you see, you see how flat, how beautiful that looks. So if you leave it overnight, it's gonna have these waves like this. And when you, and no matter when you press it the first time, you it will seem like it goes away. But when it sits the book, the waves is gonna come back. Let me show you what the waves are. If I can make an example out of this page. It will look, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna be, let me draw it for you. Let me see if I got a pencil in here. No pencil, let me get a pencil. So, okay, so I drew two examples, okay? So when I press, when I put in my humidity, humidity chamber, right? And I leave it for an hour or two, it will stay flat. But there's a lot of people who leave it over five hours overnight then your book will get like this. You don't want that, okay? You don't want that happening. <laughs> no, I got ink all over myself. So I hope you get the idea, all right? And here's your comic book. Let me... Here's your comic book. All right? You're all nice and flat, all right? Here's your other comic book. All right? Here's your other comic book. So when you leave it overnight, right? Over, all right? Overnight, it gets like that. When you keep it for two hours, one, one, two, two hours, all right? It will stay flat like this, okay? Okay, when I was doing my experiments with my books and everything. If you leave it for five hours, I don't remember what happened. But I remember testing it and everything. But it only takes one hour. Like I do it with my humidity chamber. So it can still remain like this. I noticed a lot of people. And when you use this. And there's a lot of steam. Your book can get like that too. So you have to go. When you see the steam, you go one, two. You go. Let's say for example, here's the steam. You go one, two, three, four, five. Five times and that's it. Okay? That's it. And you let your book breathe. You let your book absorb it in, all right? Then you start doing your work. But I've seen people do it for a long time. And your book can get like this too. And then no matter how many times you press it or whatever, it's going to get like that. For example, I've seen some... 9.x, um, I haven't seen, I'm going to be honest with you, CBCS or any other one, other ones, I haven't seen them. But I, do, I have seen CGC ones like this inside the case, where it's 9.8, because but to me, that's that's damage. <laughs> you know what I mean? that's To me, that's water damage. All right? I'm just going to be honest with you guys. That's, to me, water damage. To me, they destroyed the book. All right? So that's my opinion for all you people out there doing that and you have your books like this and you think that's, to me, that's, you damaged the book, all right? Again, in CGC, when I didn't, when I didn't have my um, Iron Man one, you know, I so said it is Iron Man, Iron Man comic book, right? And the back of the page was missing and the spine, it was missing a little piece of page, right? So I didn't tape it. I consider if you tape your whole comic book, the spine, I consider that damage as well. But see, you see, don't consider that damage, all right? I consider that damage. The whole is damage. And I've seen books like that graded for 5.56, they don't consider the damage. That's why I never taped that little piece to my Iron Man. That's why I consider my book to be a 7.0 like mine. Like my um, X-Men, you know what I mean? Like my X-Men one, my X-Men number one book. You see, I got a 6.0, let's say. I think that's the grade I got. Or well, 7.0, I forgot. And my Iron Man, I got a 2.0 because of that. But like I told you before, never understand your comic books. Because now, there's cards companies that say Opera Deck. Opera Deck. They probably will buy your book on the internet. And they will cut your comic book into pieces. So say this is your comic book right here. Your comic book. The Upper Deck Corporation will buy your book and they will cut it into little pieces. And they will have it into their series. 
you know what I mean, into their card series, those pages. And you, if you get in, in one of your cards, one of those special part of the pages, you can sell it for thousands of dollars. For example, I saw a, movie, a, a video on YouTube of a person who had a, one of um, Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man, number 300. Number 300, they did the same thing. And then it, it wasn't not even through upper deck. They just got it cut. I forgot how many pieces. Just look it up on YouTube where you're going to see. So never under your books just because it says 2.0. It was graded. One of these corporations can buy that book from you, cut into little pieces. And probably that little page, that little cut will be worth more or as the comic book. All right. So just keep that in mind. So let me go and see you guys in another um, two hours. Bye-bye. Hey, all right, so I got this ready to go. My, the front covers, let's see what happens after 20 minutes of pressing. Okay, let's see, there's the first one I took out, Moment of Truth. Did this one a little bit different, but I think it came out. Let's see. Beautiful, you see? Let's see. It's hard to tell. Yep, it looks like it's all out. I don't see it that much. Yep. Yeah. It's all good. It's beautiful. Now let's look at the back. The back. Now remember, this is what I did. Like you see, I put a cookie, uh, silicone paper right there with a glossy side. Now I'm going to flip this one to the back. All right. Now I'm going to use a new silicone paper. This one goes to the floor. As you can see, some of that ink, you see, some of that ink transfer, you see. So that one goes in the floor. Keep in mind, I did this like this. And I put a cardboard so the heat wouldn't go through all the other pages. Because I didn't, I didn't put a page in each single of the pages, all right? I didn't put a silicone paper like that, okay? So I put another board in there so the heat wouldn't transfer through, all right? So now I'm going to check the back of this one. See what happened. Keep in mind I have to do this side now, I have to press it, but it looks 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 way better than it was before. I don't see now those lines, nothing. A little bit. Well I think that's just because the way it is. But yeah. So there we go. So I'm gonna press this side now. I have to press this side. So so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Reverse them and I'm gonna put it back and then I'll let you know the end. So here's the second one. Carp right out of the way. Beautiful. Let's see. Beautiful. So you know all that now those lines. So I have to press the back now. So let me set it all up. So all right, so the back side is done. So let me check it out. Beautiful. There we go. So 25 minutes in the front and 25 minutes in the back. No more little lines. Perfect. See? Now, if you have a more, you do the process over again, over and over until it goes all away. All right. So I'm going to get these all ready and look at them. Then I'll show you the finished result. So there we go. Both of them beautiful. All right. 
can see a little bit stress there a little bit probably if i do it one more time it will go away but it's beautiful beautiful so it works beautifully here's the back so let me get another example this one is not bad so let me get the other one so here's the other one i have to press i got a couple more like this one this is a the before and after you see you see those lines so I have to press all those out. This one is not bad, but I'm gonna press it too. This one is not bad at all. I don't see no lines, no nothing. Well, a little bit, you can see a little bit on that one too. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna press them all anyways. Well, there you go. The two I just pressed, they look like that. It's beautiful, beautiful. Let me see the back. From what it was to now, let me compare the other one. Compare it to the other one. The other one, the back, the back doesn't look that bad on the other one. But the front looks really bad, you see? The front looks really bad. The back doesn't look as bad. So, hmm. A little bit there. You can see a little bit there. But not as bad as this one. This one is good. You see? It's a difference. Let right, me take a little bit away. Right there you can see. Let me check this one out. Yeah, nice and flat. So I kept it in the humidifier for an hour and a half. So, you see, now would I submit this into CGC like this with one with one press? I might I, I might press these again one more time. I'm just gonna let the book sit for a couple of days, get it all, then I'll do the process over. But I have to do about I have 20 of these books, so I'm gonna do all 20, and you can reuse the paper. But now again, remember when you open these books, you see how damaged that one is? When you open these books, you look in the inside, you see? So I have to do it, I have to do this book twice. Remember, this book is like a hundred pages. So you see, it has all those. So you're gonna wanna do the inside. It's a long process, a long process. You see, these pages look okay. You see, the, almost all of them has that, so. <laughs> So you see, you want to get rid of all that. Get rid of all that stuff. You see, right there. All those. You see how that looks. So I have to get rid of all that stuff, like I did in my first try. That's why I did that. So you either can use the iron, but I don't like risking it with the iron. I like just doing it with a presser like that a couple of times, and it's good for this. But you let this heal. Then you do it over, all right? This is the one, uh, now I got confused. Anyways, I'm gonna have to do them all over again. So, <laughs> but just to give you an example. I know this is the, probably one of the ones I got pressing the inside, I know that. You see, I took all the lines away. Yeah, there you go. You don't see now the lines. So I got confused now. I'm not sure which ones I did or not. <laughs> well, I know which ones I did by me in the inside. So this is one of the ones I got done pressing because you don't see the the lines anymore. This is one of them. And then what's the other one? This one. This one. Well, this is one of the ones that needs to be done because you can see the lines. Yeah, but this is the one that I think I just got pressed. Because you can tell when I press them because of this. You see this line? So, it got over. It shifted a little bit. So, I'm going to have to press it again and see what happens. You know what I mean? That one came out good. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll press these two. But anyways, I have to press them all over again. So, so I hope you guys... 
seeing the finished process and there we go remember when it's a lot of pages like this it's very very hard all right it's not like the mar moralis i'll show you the mar moralis so here we have i open them in full now these are like probably 25 pages you see how thin that is that's nothing compared to this one you see that's nothing so these are very very <laughs> you see so you have to be careful now remember with these you do have to put a sheet between every single piece or piece a silicone piece every single one of these because if not they're gonna stick together this one you don't have to but i do it just to experiment and everything but on my second try i didn't i didn't put a page a silicone page in every single page but i did put a a cardboard in the middle of the spine and i put a cardboard a front of the page here a front of the back page and a cardboard in front of the back all right so it will be one two three four five um, one two three four five five pieces of cardboard okay the magazine cardboard i put on this one all right on my second try all right so you see the pages didn't stick or nothing so well that's not the book but right here is the books that i press so i might do it i might press these twice just because of the cover and because i want to get them and i want to get them signed season or series the next time around when um the kevin eastman comes i want to get them signed by him plus i got the first appearance of the teenage mutant ninja turtles i got two of them i will show that to you guys it wasn't a preview magazine from the superheroes dc superheroes something like that the real form not the teenage mutant ninja turtles number one i do got the number two I did have those, but I sold them, but I kept one number two. I have a number number two. I sold one number two and a number one. I sold them like a set, but I had two number twos. They're like a magazine size. They're real big. So I will show you those. Well, there we go. So these, you really have to play with these because it's real thick, and I'll show you the inside and everything. So... These smaller ones are really easy because the heat will go through all the pages easy. But remember, these you have to put anything 2000 up. You have to put two of these in the spine like I showed you earlier. And you have to put a silicone paper protecting each page, right? Each page like I showed you with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But anything down like 1999 below okay except if you don't have no glossy you have remember the pages have to look like this okay the pages have to look like this you don't have to put a silicone paper protecting each one all right only if you want to only if, if you don't want to take the risk all right i took the risk it came out fine all right but again anything glossy you have to put one if not the pages are going to stick together all right so there we go so I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys learn a lot and have a happy Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Until then, bye-bye.